All right. Um, uh, preferences? Is that is that what it is? We're going to turn the music just off. Uh, we'll keep the sound on. And there is there voices? I wonder, is this voiced? That'd be awesome. That would save me a lot, a lot of work. Oh, God. Uh, high scores. Okay, it's not like an online leaderboard or something, dude. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm already liking the art. The art's cool. I know nothing about this game. It's just that it's on the new and trending on Steam. And it was free. Uh, so I'm like, okay. Uh, new game. What is your name? All right. Well, that's easy. Let's see. Choose your difficulty. Oh, my. Uh, what are we on now? Okay, so we got enemies or handicapped. God, that, that sounds... Profile does not level up. I don't know what that means. Normal warning. Profile does not level up. I don't know what that means. Uh, what... Each death levels up your profile. No increases gold rewards. No bonus time in between battles. Craft crafting requires recipes. Game saves automatically. Each death levels up your profile. I have no idea what that is. It says it's the authentic heads will roll experience, though brutal and unforgiving. Does that mean I'm supposed to uh, play it on that? Warning, profile does not level uh, level up. It's like it's like they don't want you to play on easy or medium. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I won't. I guess we'll do heads will roll. Uh, maybe we'll regret this. I don't know. Is it hard? Create your character. Uh, did I did I select this? Choose your difficulty. Okay. I guess I guess we're on that. Um, create random. Let's create it manually. Uh, how many, how many points do we have here? We have 50, 50 points altogether. Okay. Can I mess with this stuff? No. What does strength do? What, what do you think? Let's see. Endurance probably messes with health. Sure. Okay. Okay. And what's this stuff down here? Items, uh, available items. Uh, weapons, armor. Oh my god, so I'd have to, like, uh, have, a, like, a, a starting, uh, thingy? Starting loadout? No, dude. That's, that's a lot of pressure. Uh. Pouch. <laughs> this looks, I love the art, though. Um, should I start with nothing? I don't know how that works. Should I start with, like, some shitty rusty short? Can I click on this? Hunty sword. What, what? What's like the the crap one? Rusty Falchion. Cost thirty. Uh, I mean, is that the bad one? Is that like the starting one? Cleaver. Are these all cleaver? Short sword. Or I mean, are these all starting weapons? I don't know. I don't want to like. Yeah, I guess I have no idea what I'm doing at all. Um, this one looks kind of rusty sword. Uh, yeah, can we can we start with that? Oh, okay, we can. We st we're starting with a rusty sword. Generation points. We only have twenty. Oh my god. Um. Wow, yeah, so that eats up. Okay, you know what? Wow, that's a lot of points. All right, first let's... I wonder, should we not start with a, with a sword? I mean, will we get inventory stuff? I don't know, dude. Uh, let's let's do a um, uh, create... No, random. See, I thought it was going to have, like, pre-made. No, I don't want random, dude. Let's give ourselves some strength. God, it, it, yeah, that eats through the points. Okay, wow. Um, coordination. C 
craftsmanship, the number of crafting recipes that you know, and your ability to successfully craft or repair equipment. Uh-huh. Okay, I don't know how, uh, like, important that is. Let's give ourselves some vitality. Ah, oh, dude. All right, well, you know what? Where's where's that rusty sword? Is it right here? How, how many points was it? Or what? 30. So that, that would eat that up, then. That would be our character. Oh, my God. All right, yeah, this is going to be brutal. Let's just proceed and see what happens. What, no weapon skills of any kind. I mean, we really have no idea what the hell we're doing. But we do have a rusty sword. Proceed. <clears throat> Okay, this is not voiced. Being the youngest son of, a, of an impoverished merchant, you never had any particular ambitions about your future. And never in your wildest dreams had you imagined yourself becoming a warrior. Are we a warrior? Living a poor but steady life, you, from the, yo from the young age, found solace in hard and honest physical labor, never asking for much. You were happy to spend your days working and evenings partying with friends at a local tavern, letting wine and ale wash away the sweat. It was one of these evenings that turned your whole world upside down. Drunken brawls at the tavern were not uncommon, especially when the place was visited by some fancy-dressed outsiders with fat wallets and bad manners. The locals didn't take kindly to this kind of strangers. <laughs> uh, that night, it was the sheriff's youngest son with his buddies who showed up at the tavern, loud, haughty, and full of his usual obnoxious swagger. He immediately started to boast about he and his family own all of Greenwich, telling stories about riches of his f father and countless men killed by his older brother, a bloodthirsty duelist. They were almost openly asking for an ass-whooping. This time, however, it didn't end with a simple fistfight. Things escalated, and soon after, first hands were thrown. Oh, yeah, I get, I, I get it. Yeah, hands were thrown. People started reaching for clubs and knives. Uh, I mean, throwing a fist. What game is this? This is Revenge of the... Oh, no, Heads Will Roll Downfall. You ever heard of that? No, me neither. I wasn't really looking forward to it or anything, or it wasn't on my radar. It just was on the new and and, and trending on Steam today. And so I was like, what, dude? And it was free! That's the important part. It's free. I don't know if I, I mentioned that. That's, that's really the moral of this story. I can already tell we're in for a winner from the, uh, from the dialogue and stuff. Um, um, clubs and knives. Yeah, yeah. You reached for yours, too. Oh. It was not really clear who had landed the blow that killed the sheriff's son, but it were, but it were you who had to pay for it. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a winner. A couple hours later, it would be great if this was voiced. Like, this is tedious. Like, uh, Okay. Anyway, I mean, you know, like... Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, like when you start Skyrim or Oblivion or, you know, many other games, you just start, dude, you know? You don't need to give me this, you know? Uh, the sheriff paid you a personal visit, and after a rather brief half-hour beating... Promise that you'd be hanged by the next noon, okay? At dawn, using the carelessness of the sleepy guards who were taking you to see the judge, you escaped. <laughs> okay. A day later, hungry and dirty, you arrived in London. In London town. With no idea where to go, you came across a wagon of royal recruiters agitating local beggars and drunkards to join militia of the king's army that was about to set out north to wage war against the invading Scots. 
Finding yourself in the middle of a strange city with no friends or money, but with a hefty bounty on your head, you you really, you didn't really had much of a choice. If you had to lose your life, you'd rather die by a sword or an arrow than from a shameful noose around the neck. A couple of hours later, you entered a large military encampment on the northern end of the city. Oh my, okay. A new life. Uh, soon you will embark on your first adventure. But before you do it, we have to warn you, not all risks are worth taking and not all fights are worth fighting. Blindly charging forward without considering the circumstances and consequences is the fastest way to get yourself killed. Heads will roll, roll will try to present the player with a lot of difficult choices, but your answers will never be right or wrong. There is always something to lose and something to gain, no matter the choice. A good strategy for success is to approach the adventures with the goal of simply surviving rather than becoming a hero. Don't go on dangerous endeavors if you're not confident in your success as you may be severely punished for unpreparedness. Some quests will be failed. Some characters you meet will grow to hate or despise you. Sometimes you will have to flee from a battle in order to save your life. Don't let these things bother you too much as your real purpose is to make it to the very end in one piece. Is that my goal? And the last but not least, remember to keep track of time. Training, shopping, adventuring, and completing quests will all consume it. Neglect one too much in favor of the others, and you're in for unpleasant surprises. I'm, I'm about to be pissed off by this game, aren't I? Okay. Um, this is a beautiful interface. Let's see. Quests and travel. Uh, camp activities. Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah, right. Oh, my God. Let's see what this game has in store for me. What trade? I, I doubt I have any money, right? Army camp in London. Time till next story event. Green bar. Not sure what that means, but yeah, there's green bar until the next event. Um, get rid of this. It's distracting me. All right. Lost Firefly. You changed your name. I see. Yeah. How come, how come you did that? No, sorry, nothing, dude. Sorry, nothing. Uh, you know, how come you changed your name, though? Just curious. Um, I mean, nothing wrong with you, with your old one, but, you know, this is, like, easier to say. Let's be honest, dude. <laughs> so, I like it. Don't apologize for it, because I like it, dude. I, I think it's a good change. I know how to pronounce everything there this time, so... <laughs> Anyway, how's your day going? In settings. <laughs> uh, th thanks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's all, it's all good, dude. It's good. I like it. Change is good sometimes, man. Anyway, we're checking out a really weird game today. It was good. Oh, okay, sweet. <clears throat> yeah, we're checking out a really weird game today. I don't I don't know how this is going to go. It's called... Uh, uh, what... what uh, uh, heads will roll downfall, dude? I don't know. I can tell it's going to be, like, frustrating. Change mine. It's always a good day when you're able to have a nap. Really? You had a nap? Oh, my God. That's awesome. Uh, that is good. Sweet. Okay, so you're chilling today. Awesome. I love that. that that's awesome. I, I like to live vicariously through you. Then that's sweet, dude. I could kind of go for a nap. It's really bright and sunny here, so it's like not really napping weather. But man, if it was like all nice and rainy or something, I feel like, you know, if I like lived in England or something, I would never get anything done because, you know, it's like raining all the time. I'd be like, oh, this is a perfect day to take a nap, stay in, you know, drink myself into a sugar coma with Mountain Dew and something, you know, and just pass out. Let's see, character crafting. Let's train. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. Through training, you can imp improve the various skills and attributes of your character. Keep in mind that training both consumes time and rapidly builds up fatigue. If you do not want to start the battle in a disadvantageous position, then then do not forget to properly rest. Matt, how you doing, buddy? How's things going for you today, my friend? Doing all right? Yes, welcome, my good man, dude. How's things? It's gonna take me a while to get get over the fact that you didn't win that car, dude. But but I'm other than that, I'm fine. Oh, you're sick! Oh, okay, well, that sucks, dude. Um, hmm. That does suck, dude. Oh, I'm excellent, dude. I'm excellent. Anytime I can game, dude. Anytime I'm streaming, I'm good. It makes me happy. It makes me happy, dude. So, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Thank you, dude. Sucks you're sick, though. Um, hmm. Is it, is it the COVID? Sorry to hear. I hope you get that better soon. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, thank you. See, chat's with you, dude. Chat's with you. We all, we all want you to be better, dude. <clears throat> anyway. Perfect thing to be in watching a stream, though, when you're sick, buddy. So, anyway. <laughs> Can't go wrong, man. <clears throat> anyway. I appreciate you showing up, dude. Sick or not. Um... Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's see. Physical workouts, I can strength, agility, endurance, blah, blah, blah. Or swords, axes, and maces. Pulse. Let's um, increase your sword, sword, sword fighting skill by one. Sparring. Training with a coach. Moderately exhausting, moderately exhausting, very exhausting. Oh, re reputation with soldiers required 75. I doubt that I have a reputation with friggin' anything. All right. Well, solo practice with swords. Your sword fighting skill has increased. Yay. What is this? Is this me? Is this like an unhappy face now? Am I getting tired? Uh, let's go back. What happened? Hey, you. This is going to be good. I don't remember seeing you before. Who's squat? Oh, squad, are you from? Okay, thank God he didn't say squat. Who's squat are you from? <laughs> what is that, dude? Uh, ooh, a medieval game. Interesting. Yeah, it's like medieval-y, I guess. Yeah. Um, um, uh, nobody's. I just arrived. Ah, so you are from the townspeople. Did you fall for recruiters' fairy tales dreaming of gold? Glory and adventure? Something like that. What you say I shouldn't have? Well, judging by your appearance, you definitely won't become poorer. Even if you try hard, can't lose what you don't have. And here you will definitely have at least some kind of money. So, I like when money looms on the horizon. And the further away from here this horizon is, the better. When do we set out? Ha! Ah, for the first time in my life, I see a militiaman who's raring to go. And we haven't even paid you a penny yet. The sergeant will definitely like you. We plan to march in four or five days when the rest of the carts with food will, are brought up. A few more days. I suggest you make use of this time. Focus on your physical training or maybe take a couple of fencing lessons from somewhere around here. And please come up with something more decent to wear, or else you'll be the, a laughing stock for the Scots. Now, we can't let the Scottish people be laughing at us. They already dress a bit funny, so, I mean, if Scottish people are laughing at you, you know you, know you done messed up. In short, try not to let your first fight be your last. Uh, thanks for the advice, but I'm afraid I can't afford spending on, the, on equipment right now. Oh, right. Speaking about money, all recruits are entitled to a salary. No gold mountains, that's for sure, but you'll certainly get a couple of florins for ale and pants without patches. <laughs> when you play Planet Crafter, they have devel developed very well its update. Have they, Matt? Have they? Has it, has the, have they developed it out well? Is it is it up to your satisfaction and, make, and, pl and up to your specs, dude? Um, I, I look forward to that, yeah. Um, I wonder how much longer it will be until it's just fully released, because, I mean, they're, they're moving right along. 
at this rate, dude. I hope it won't take much longer because I don't know what else, what else they're planning to, to add at this point. If you can breathe the air, if you can develop the planet to the point where you can breathe the air, dude. I mean, I don't know where they're going with that. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, do we, do, we, do we leave the planet at some point? I wonder. That'd be so sweet. Build secret paradise, man. Yeah, dude. Secret paradise. Oh, man, yeah, dude. <laughs> that's that's the thing. That's that game's strength. Building your own sweet little secret paradise base with a, with a view. Like, find the best view and, and plop down your foundations, you know? Uh, yeah, I like how they're, they're, the selling point is that I can get ale and pants. I really enjoyed that game. I look forward to going back. Yeah, dude, and like I say, I mean, maybe you should go back, you know? Because it's like, you know, they're moving right along. It's gotten a lot of patches since, since we played it. So. Sounds very enticing. All right, then find me when you have a look around, and I'll take you to the sergeant deal. By the way, my name is Ruffin. Ruffin! I like that name. Um, uh, my name doesn't shake the air, my friend. Save your breath. See if you'll be still alive a week later. Then you'll tell me. <laughs> he doesn't even want to know our name. All right, all right. Um, quests and travel. Let me click on this. Okay, I see nothing. I see travel. Uh, I see I'm in the army camp, and here's London. Here's the here's the Thames. Uh, I don't think I can really do anything. Camp physician, I don't think I need that. Camp activities. Spend your time to relax, relieve your stress, and hang out with other soldiers while performing various activities. All of them help relieve stress in their own way and by different amounts, so it would be wise to try all of them to see the results for yourself in addition to the camp. Serves as an, as an important social hub where you can gather information and receive tasks from other characters. Really? Okay. Um, let us um, socialize. Oh, with Ruffin. Uh, nah, we don't want to do that right now. Let's uh, let's pray to our heathen gods uh, and like sacrifice a chicken to them. You spend time in solitude and prayers. All right. Well. Uh, they didn't say specifically that we sacrificed anything to our to our gods, but okay, we're gonna role play it. Drink, we can gamble or hang around campfire. Let's do that. You spend some time hanging around, hanging out at at wand and wandering around. Okay, yeah, I feel like that's time well spent. Back. Okay. Um. Let's let's train again. Uh, I mean, do I know how many days are like going by? I really don't know. Um, let's see, uh, we have skill one with swords now. We're just going to go all in on swords. Can we pay someone to, like, train with a coach? Cost 35 florins. Do we have that? You don't have enough money. No, we can't. We can't do that, guys. Um, I don't know. What, what do you What do you guys think I should train here? What What is important here? Should I just like go all in on strength? We got agility, endurance, coordination. What's your guys' take on this? Coordination represents your ability to control yourself under pressure. It determines both how successful you are at regeneration, regeneration stamina, and how much of it you are able to regenerate. Uh, really, coordination, huh? Um, sure. I guess we'll go with coordination, because that's not in games, usually. You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. We'll train coordination, just because I don't usually get to train coordination. I have trained strength, agility, endurance in a lot of games. Coordination, not so much. So we're going to go with that, I think. Your coordination has increased. Nice. So am I, like, being stressed out? I'm tired three. Fatigue 95 out of 105. Okay, um, combat becomes less effective. Okay, can I, like, relax then? Well, did you settle in? Let's go. It's time for you to meet the sergeant. Uh -huh. so, so this is the guy who is eager to go to war? He's the one. I haven't even said a word about the salary, and he already asked me when we are setting off. 
Really? In a hurry to die for the faith and the king? Why? How commendable. Well, let's not pull the mare by the tail, then. I have no idea where you came from. However, since Ruffin ha has already kind of picked you up, I guess you are enlisted to us now. Welcome to the Earl Northampton squad. Give my respects to the Earl. Would he maybe like to pay me a salary, though? Would he maybe like to pay me a salary, though? I thought about it and decided that it wouldn't hurt if I acquire some money. Eh, oh boy, and I thought you were different. It's feudalism, my friend. Don't ask what the Earl can do for you. Ask what you can do for the Earl. Words of gold, Ruffin. However, the guy is right. A scrawny ragamuffin like you, Skip, could sure use some equipment. Otherwise, you will have to be crossed off the squad list even before the ink with which your name was written there dries. Forty florins received. You have been promoted to militiaman. What was I before? Endurance also sounds good. Okay, I'll do endurance next time then, Waz. Yeah, definitely. I'll do that then next time. Um... I wonder, I wish there was a way to check what I was before I was a I've been promoted to militia man. Was it just a piece of garbage? Uh, well, that's not much. Don't get smart with me, son. You should be thankful that you got anything at all. You have the delights of royal surface and army life ahead of you. Free meals, friendly colleagues, outdoor work, and lots of travel. Solid benefits. It's you who should pay to experience such things, not the other way around. And we even offer opportunities for career growth. The, ear, the Earl notices good people. So if you prove yourself, then who knows, you might get out of the mud. The Earl looks after his people, that's for sure. Okay, so enough of your jibber-jabber. Prepare yourself and get ready to march. Consider yourself done. Well, consider yourself well done. If you get out of the first battle alive, and I even will personally shake your hand if you manage to kill someone. Well, and if you kill two, then I might even stop thinking of you as, an, as a useless scrub. New quest added. Useless scrub. <laughs> okay, so what is this quest? Useless scrub. Impress the sergeant by killing two enemies in the first battle. Oh, man. Okay. Um, all right, uh, yeah, sure, back. All right, um, so am I, like, still tired, or, I mean, it's, it, I, I guess not. Let's look at my training thing. Oh, yeah, it looks like I am sort of tired. Can we, can we rest or something? What do we do, like, uh, camp activities? Is that what I'm doing? Do I drink or something? You don't have any alcohol. Oh, okay, well, that makes sense, yeah. Um, we could drink water, though. We could just drink the lake water or the pond water. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, oh, yeah, you wanted me to buy something. Uh, searching for... Uh, it w Okay, yeah, sure. So, um, we have a sword. We could buy a, a helm! A iron helm that protects the top of the head and nose, being unnecessarily heavy... It is rather uncomfortable to use, but war was never about comfort, right? Yeah, but you want to be comfortable when you're marching off to war, right? I I did memory its game. Um, what, Matt? You, you did you you memorized something? You remembered something, dude? What? Help me out, dude. What what's up? I did memory its game. <laughs> you me you remembered something? <clears throat> Let's see, uh, Iron Helm, let's see, what else, oh, can I, do I have to click off this? Uh, Hunting Bolts, it's game hard for me. Uh, which, which game is that, dude? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm lost now. What, what game is hard for you? I did play, oh, this game? This, you played this? Oh, I see where you're coming from now. I, I catch you drift now, buddy. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling that, yeah, yeah. Uh, cloth. I see weird stuff. Well, let's let's buy this. How about this poor man's shield here? What about that? No, I, I I think that this is probably going to be a 
a very hard game. Yeah, let's, let's, I guess, buy this shield. Can I, how do I buy it? Buy? Boom. Okay, back. Okay, character. Can I, like, equip it inventory? Yeah, I mean, I know how armor slots. I, I'm not even going to read this. Skip. All right, let's see. So, yeah, okay, so we got, like, um, oh, I should I should have read it. Equip. Not enough agility. Oh, crap. <laughs> Can I do the she? Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, can I equip this? Not enough for strength and agility. Oh, oh my! I should have looked at that. <laughs> All right. Well, we need more strength and agility to um, uh, have stuff. <laughs> okay. Get get out of my face. <coughs> Relationships. Various romantic interests. What? Um, okay. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Renowned enemies defeated. Okay. I've, I've done nothing. All right. Let's 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 go back. Train. Yeah. I guess I'm going to have to train, dude. I need it all. All right. Well, I'm going to do endurance first. My endurance increased. Okay. I'm like really stressed out or tired. How do I rest? Um, look back. All right. It's time to like rest. How the hell do I rest? Uh, camp physician camp activities. Do can I? Is there a, a sleep button? Like getting Kingdom Come Deliverance vibes? Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> they wanted to make a sequel to that, but they didn't have enough money or something, right? You know, like the the simulation of of a medieval life thing. You know, campfire. Oh, oh God. Yeah, is it campfire? Camp camp activities. Hang around campfire? Is it, does that make me rest? I guess. Yeah, I guess that is. I can't sleep. I just wander around. That's weird. Uh, okay, yeah, I see. Yeah, my, my stress is going down or my tiredness is going down or whatever the hell that is. Okay, let's pray some. Okay, yes. I don't know if it... Virtue increased by one. Really? The Lord has heard your prayers. Fatigue recovery increased. Holy crap. The Christ be praised. Um, I love that game until I hate it. Hated it. Well, you just hated that. What, God, what was it? That Woman's Lot DLC, right? Because it was just, I don't know. By that time, you had invested like six billion hours into the game and you're just ready to be done, you know, but. But yeah, I, I really love that game. The start of that game was so strong. The first 10 hours, you're like, this is the best game ever. You know? I hated the Woman's Lot DLC so much. And I'm a woman. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ be praised. All right. Um, we still have some fatigue. Our, our face is frowny. Uh, let us, uh, let us pray again. Uh, you spend time in solitude and prayers. Uh, okay. I, my virtue didn't go up though. All right. Uh, I guess we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna train some more. Let's, uh, get our agility going. Okay. And, and what did we need? We needed more strength. I know that. Strength is up. Okay. We need to rest. We need to rest more. Let's. Stick around the camp more, gamble a bit. Don't have enough money to gamble, that's right. Make the agility three. All right, we're going to need agility up to three at least because Matt knows all. He's never led me wrong once, so let's see. Uh, what the? No. Okay. Um, uh, let's let's socialize. Let's bullshit with people. We'll, we'll just go bullshit with the sergeant. Uh, so, Sergeant, what you doing? Hi, here comes the scrub. What's the matter? Did you forget which end of the sword to poke an enemy with? Uh, nice chat. Thank you. Thank you, Sergeant. Ruffin, what say you? Ah, Skip, how's life treating you? Getting settled at the camp. Uh, yes, everything's fine. Doing fine. Well, that's great. It's not easy to get used to life in a camp, but once you do, you will feel at home in your tent. First time, I always find it difficult to adapt, but over time, you'll learn what's what. Although many recruits, on the contrary, are rather delighted, here they get food, water, and even money. The only downfall is that sometimes you have to fight. 
but believes me, believe me, you have way more chances to kick the bucket from typhus or diarrhea than a Scottish spear. So no need to be afraid. I have no place to store things. I need advice and training. I would like to make extra money. Uh, extra money. Uh, it's all about the money with you lately. I have no idea you're materialistic like this, my friend. This is an L for you, really. Uh, come on, don't pout. Everyone needs money, I understand. Check out the Traveling for traveling Forge? There should always be work here, there in theory, but keep in mind that your hands grow out of your... That if your hands grow out of your ass, then you won't be able to earn much there? What? Uh. <laughs> Hello, governor! Yeah, Oz, that's, that's how they are over there, you know? That's how they are in, in jolly old London town. You know what I mean? More tea, governor! You know, that's how it is. I mean, it's not, I'm not insulting anyone. That's just how it is over there back in the old, on the streets of Sussex, you know? Or wherever they are. I don't know where, I don't know. I mean, this is the old country. Um, that's all I know. They're very, they're very fancy people. So I'm not going to question how they do things, you know? Um, uh, yeah, like, yeah, what were we talking about Liz Trust the other day, you know what I mean? So, I mean, you know, clearly you know more about it than all of me, than me, you know, so. <clears throat> yeah, okay, hang on. I got to pay very close attention to this line here because I'm very confused. Um, okay, but keep in mind that if your hands grow out of your ass then you won't be able to earn much there. Uh, I, what does that mean? Is that some sort of weird British expression? I have never heard that, you know? And I've watched all like all the seasons of Are You Being Served and all the, the, the seasons of Monty Python's Flying Circus, and I have never heard a British person say that their hands are growing out of their ass. She resigned after 45 days in the chair. Yeah, right, right. What, what, someone was doing a thing like, you know, a, a lettuce outlasted her or something? Like, they bought a lettuce and it, and it stayed good longer than she was in office or something? I heard she resigned. How crazy. Do we know why yet? I don't know, but I saw a YouTube video that was like, oh, hard questions were asked of her or something and fiery thing, you know, on her way out or something. I haven't watched it, so I, I really don't know. But yeah, so... <laughs> But I saw that freaking the, the thing where like freaking Boris Johnson was gonna like try to run again or something, <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, uh, not Chucky, not Chucky hair, dude, blonde Chucky. He looks like an old blonde Chucky. I'm sorry, but you know. Anyway, incompetency, I guess. Yeah, maybe after 40 days, that's all it took for them to be like, oh shit, get out, get out. <laughs> oh god who was that one prime minister that was freaking famous what was it like cornwall or something or uh, i forget but anyway uh, she wasn't that dude anyway let's see um she's no pit the elder you know uh you won't be able to earn much okay your hands growing out of the ass um uh, I, I don't live in the UK, but I hope they get their shit together there. Yeah, as is as do I hope of most of the world at this point. <laughs> oh man, I hope I hope a lot of us get our shit together. <laughs> the place where I lived included. Yeah, right. Yeah. Anyway, we all need to get our shit together. <laughs> yeah, right. My goodness. Oh man. Um, at best you will be an errand boy. Bring this, give that, and nip round for the wine. I don't mind running for wine, actually. Well, who would doubt? Anyway, a forge is a forge, after all. Maybe you will learn something there in a month or two. And with your hands straightened, you'll be able to earn decent money. I don't know. I, um, I'm just going to stop talking to you now. Um, oh, I, I can talk to the blacksmith now at the camp, blah, 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 repairs of things, side jobs at Forge. Okay, uh, repair equipment. I'm not going to do that because I have no money, and they didn't say anything about... Uh, you know what, let's... Uh, 
Oh, I see. Now it says it says work it forward here. Let's socialize with that freak again. Maybe he'll give us more options. Ruffin, um, I need to store stuff. I'm just gonna skip through this. Um, uh, are you gonna give me a chest or not? Uh, I have a chest lying somewhere around here. It is, in fact, the old the old Tom's chest. But given that Tom was hanged for boozing, let's say he'll be... Let's say he passed his stuff on, and I inherited it, so to speak. So yes, I'm ready to settle on a token payment of half a hundred florins for this thing. Um, I need advice on training. I've never been to war, so I don't quite understand what exactly I need to prepare for. I would imagine... They, they'll be like very, you know, two groups of people, and they'll walk towards each other, possibly slowly, possibly quickly. I'm not sure, but once they meet, then they'll start hacking each other's limbs off. I mean, I don't know what there is to like really, really to really. What, what is there to know about that? I mean, it's war, you know. I mean. I feel like that's why, historically, us men have been just so great at it, because it's just really easy. You just, hey, go over there and hit this dude over the head with a thing. Like, oh, okay, I can do that, you know? Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know what you have to prepare for. The hell of war, I guess, you know? I don't know if it was quite as hellish back then, you know? Like, there was no mustard gas... There was there was no shrapnel wounds. There was there's was, there was no you know heavy artillery strikes that could just vaporize you if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. You wouldn't get run over by a tank back in these days. You know what I mean? I don't know. I think it's a lot more hellish nowadays. Um, back then it was probably a lot of fun. You know what I mean? Uh, leaping from like rock to rock, saying tally ho and stuff. Ah, the diseases were the scary part. That's true. That's true. It's not all saying tally ho. Sometimes you get, yeah, those horrible, horrible friggin, you know, like you get a cut and then you have to have your finger friggin uh, chopped off, you know. If you get a cold, you are dead. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, dude. That's, that's true. I mean, it's not all romantic shouting tally ho, leaping from rock to rock, you know, saying like, have at thee and stuff like that. It was probably fun to do that. But yeah, once you got a cold, you were screwed. Um, that's why you had to stay healthy. You know, I, I mean, I don't know. You had to like work out, eat a lot of carrots. I guess diarrhea killed you too, according to previous dialogue. Yeah, right. Hey, you know, they probably, you know, the simplest things killed them back in the days. Uh, well, buddy, everything kind of depends on a person here. You can look at any battle as consisting of two goals, not to die yourself and kill the enemy. See, there you go. What is there to know? And your training may differ from which of these goals you prioritize. Agility is all around uh, skill, which first of all allows you to hit the target more often as well as dodge enemy attacks better. Agility is great and all, but nothing without weapon training. So if you want to hit hard without fail, then practice your weapon skills as well. All right. Well, you know, we kind of get it. All right. Just, just, we, you know, yeah, skip. Endurance and coordination are important. I'm, I, I imagine they're all important. The third option is just to have an effective recovery, coordination, responsible. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, level up your stats. Uh, less blood shed in battle. Yeah, I mean, I get it. All right, back. True. Um, let's see, uh, Arrow, if you if you don't uh, need, don't take it out or you will bleed to dead. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, all right, yeah. <laughs> I guess it depends on where it is. I mean, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess there's never a good time where you should rip out the arrow and then and there's a big gaping hole in you. I don't know. It'd be hard to rip out an arrow on your uh, by yourself anyway, too, Matt, I think, you know. Well, that arrow is part of me now, I guess. Yeah, well, they had to, like, push it through the rest of the way. Like, it'd get stuck in you and they'd have to just break off the feathered bit and, like, push it through the other way to get it out because they couldn't, you know, it'd be barbed. You can't, you can't like, pull it out, you know. God, yeah, I mean, that, the, the simple wounds like that were, were so bad back then. Yeah, oh, God. Yeah, right. Would be so bad, man. God. Just, like, hopefully they knew to, like, pour alcohol on it or something. 
I used to adventure, be an adventurer like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. Yeah, right. Or really anywhere would friggin' kill you. I mean, even if you got a, a, an arrow in the hand, you'd be screwed for life. Um, God, there was this one, uh, like, uh, there was, like, the Vikings invaded some city in, in on, like, the coast of, of, of uh, Denmark or something, I forget, and then, like, they they found, like, all the, the, the buried rem remnants of that, and, like, people from those days were so Bjork, dude, like, the, you know, like, one guy, like, that died had, like, a, a broken his knee at some point, and then it fused back together with him, like, sitting down or something, so it was constantly, like, bent at a 90-degree angle, and, and everyone was just so Bjorked and had weird diseases and weird stuff, so I don't know, it was just tough. But you know one thing they did have was nice teeth back then, because they had no sugar trade, man. So, anyway. Let's see. Uh, I guess, let's talk to the blacksmith. Oh, yeah, that's right. We can't do anything. Back in time, one tool to have for remove arrowhead. Um, I, I, I tell you, man. Yeah, I tell you. <coughs> I wonder... I've seen a lot of movies where they try to do it, and I'm never really convinced <laughs> their methods. God, what's the one one? Like Kingdom of Heaven or something with like Orlando Bloom and like Liam, Liam Neeson gets like an arrow in the Gulliver or something or in his gizzard or something. I forget. But yeah, it looks really gruesome and bad. I hear talking. Why is there talking? Oh, I, I guess that was the mail. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's let's rest more, I guess. Let's rest. Yeah, let's pray. Oh, let's work at the... No, let's pray. Let, let us pray. Virtue increased by one. Self-withdrawal from the life of your regiment causes you to lose comrades' respect. Reputation, soldiers lowered by one. I probably had zero reputation with them to begin with. Now they think I'm sort of some weird religious nut introvert, you know? Some flagellant, you know? Beaten off punishing himself, you know, for like his, his sins or something. Damn, yeah, right. God damn it. All right, well, here, what if I gamble with him about... Oh, I can't because I still don't have any money. Let's socialize. Uh, I guess we'll let's socialize with the blacksmith. Oh, damn it! No, that's not actually socialization. It's just asking him to try to do something. Let's uh, let's drink. Oh, that's right. We don't have any alcohol. Let's just hang around the campfire then. Yeah, we're wandering, wandering. Okay, we're still wandering around. After spending a couple days in the camp, you get more and more used to the way of life here. Also, and also begin to make acquaintances with other militiamen. <clears throat> Answering questions about your past and how you ended up here. You. I just wanted some alone time. Yeah, right, exactly, dude. I wasn't even really praying. I was sleeping, but now everyone judges me. Oh, man. God. That, that certainly doesn't make me feel more welcome here. Uh. So, like, I don't know. What if I just tell the truth here? Introverts didn't survive in that era. Yeah, right. I'm sure privacy wasn't a thing. Oh, my God. Yeah. I was watching this thing on Roman baths one time, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, privacy just, like, wasn't a concept, you know? Like, I don't know if you could be an introvert. Like... I was seeing this thing in this Roman bath somewhere, and, like, what they would do is they, they have, like, a sponge on the end of a stick to wipe with, and they just pass it around and use the same damn sponge. They'd be like, oh, yeah, <laughs> wrestle around in the grundle hog there and just pass it to this buddy next to him be like, hey, here you go there, Bill, clean, clean yourself up, have fun. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I just don't think I could have made it back then. I couldn't have been a Roman. Yeah, OMG. Yeah, right. I couldn't, I wouldn't have taken a Roman bath then. I wouldn't have gone and taken a shit then and their, with their fancy sewers. I would have been like, nah, I'm good being a barbarian living out here. I'd rather be exiled. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sick, sick peoples in back. Yeah, sick people back then. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I, I don't know, man. I, I would have been just a barbarian living out in the wild, taking a shit in the hole in the ground. That would have I would have preferred that a million times over the public baths of, of fancy hoity-toity Rome, you know, or whatever. Anyway, 
let's just tell the truth because, I mean, that's what I do in life, in real life, just because I've always been too stupid to, like, keep lies straight. So let's just let's just tell the truth because I just can't remember things. Yes, without any hesitation, tell the truth. Embellishing it here and there with all sorts of juicy details. Really? Okay, that's a... Uh, we didn't really need to do that. We just needed to tell the truth. We didn't need to, like, oh, you know, make it into embellish it, like, on a dark and stormy night, you know, or whatever. I don't know. I don't... Uh, that way, the sheriff's son turns from your average lad into a six-foot buster that before his my mysterious death manages to lose to you in an honest fist fight. A whole squad of knights was sent to arrest you four of which you armed only with a pitchfork knocked out of their saddles. I like how this is the option for me telling the truth. There was either lie or tell the truth, which is basically a lie, but in the other direction. Uh, I don't think you understand what the truth means, game. Um, and while in prison, the gorgeous daughter of one of the guards was so charmed by you that she first helped you brighten up the lonely night and then to escape. Really? Uh-huh. Impressed by this action-packed and most importantly, absolutely true story, your comrades developed a newfound respect for you. Reputation soldiers increased by seven. What the hell, game? What are you telling me with this? What the hell? When in prison? <laughs> oh my god, alright, alright. This is insane to me. Um, okay, how, how am I on like... Oh, yeah, let's... I, I, let's just hang around one, one more time. Alright, let, let's go back. Let's... Um, like, can we work at the forge? You spend some time... Where's time working the forge? You earned five florins! Okay, I got really stressed from that again. I need to train more. Let's train. Uh, I need that agility up. Um, oh, dude. I only have... Okay, you know what? We'll start there. Let's let's train that agility. And I'm already I'm tired or whatever. Back. Uh, let's... Uh, let me check my character inventory... Does it say... So this is strength required two, agility required one. Uh, so, and this is agility one, strength one. <clears throat> so can I not um, equip these now? Boom. I, so I have a sword and shield finally. <laughs> uh, weapon skill one. I'm not skilled very much in it. And I have five gold. Sweet. Um, virtue. Okay, yeah. 52 out of 100. Zero prestige. Um, army rank. Auxiliary. Yeah, it determines the wage that you'll regularly receive from the king as well as your overall importance in the army structure. Regular auxiliaries receive 40 florins. Okay. Uh, oh, I have a reputation with the Earl of Northampton. What does this say? On last legs for fatigue. Fatigue builds up. Oh, does that mean that I'm, like, tired? All right. I need to rest more then. Let's go back. Let's go back to the camp. Let's hang around. Let's, let's pray. Let's, we're already considered an introvert. Let's, I didn't, let's hang around the campfire. Let's um, pray. Isn't there a sleep? There should be a sleep in, the, in this thing. Uh, the Lord has heard your prayers. Fatigue recovery increased. Jesus Christ be praised. Okay, back. Um, oh, God. What, what are we doing now? Let's see. Let's, like, uh, we're running out of time. Let, let's train our uh, coordination because it's at zero right now. Coordination has increased. Okay. How about more agility? Sure, okay, now we're very tired. Let's go back. <gasps> One morning. Well, headed for a potage. Um, for a pottage? Potage? You become a witness to a lively argument between several soldiers. 
Is it potage? Is that is that fancy British talk for taking a dump? Um, train swords too. Yeah, okay, Matt. I, I will definitely do that, dude. I will definitely do that. I'm going all in on swords. So. Um, but first I need to understand whether a potage is a fancy way to take a dump. Because uh, if that's true, I'm going to say potage from now on. Oh, excuse me, darling. I'm going to on my way for a potage. You know what I mean? Like, uh, the, oh, man. Actually, that's likely to get me throat punched. Uh, a trio of Welsh, Welsh archers make fun of a young crossbowman who, judging by his speech and dress, is a foreign mercenary. Mocking him, the Welsh called the crossbow a weapon for losers who did not have the strength and wit to learn archery. The foreigner, on the other hand, calls the bow the prehistoric weapon of the the prehistoric weapon of the dirty louts, which is about to be completely replaced by crossbows and become completely useless. The only reason, according to him, why the bow has not completely gone out of fashion in these lands is that England is on the outskirts of the world and all the trends of progressive Europe reach it with a big delay. Noticing you, the disputants immediately turn to you as an unbiased party with a request request to arbitrate. Um, I could refuse to get involved, but you know I'm gonna have to uh, side with the crossbowman. I mean that. I mean that makes sense to me. There is a don't un intervene option. <laughs> yeah. Should I do that? What do you think? You should. I should just not get involved here. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Um. Was, um, potage is maybe target. <laughs> maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to ask a historian what potage is. <laughs> I thought it's. It sounded like a food to me. Like oh, we're make today. We're making you know, strawberry potage, or something. Uh, that would make sense to me. That that sounds right. But I really don't know very much. Um, so yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? That let all you guys make this decision for me. What should I do here? Should I side with the archers, which you know that hurts me because I mean I don't know. Uh, but then side with the crossbowmen, or refuse to get involved in a dispute. I don't know. I'm kind of leaning uh, toward uh, the crossbowmen just because I don't. I don't. You know. I don't know. Train train target in military. Oh, you did, Matt? Is that is that what you're saying, buddy? You were in the military and you and you you, you trained. I uh, didn't you mention you were in the military one time or something? I forget. Third option, since we are now crossbowmen, nor an archer. I don't know. Yeah, um, you know what? You know what? That makes sense, though. That makes sense, Was. Thank you. You know what? That makes sense. See, this is why I ask you because I wasn't thinking like that. I wasn't thinking like that. So yeah, uh, that makes sense. Let's re let's do that. Seeing the debate that you began peacefully enough that has already become quite heated, you realize there is going to be a fight if things continue to escalate. It's not wanting to get involved in a potential scuffle with your own comrades. You refuse to participate in the dispute and are excusing yourself by important and urgent militia affairs. You quickly leave. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I guess it doesn't matter. Whatever. Okay, whatever. I left and nothing bad happened and I didn't get my face cut or anything like that. Whatever. Okay, how how tired am I? I'm extremely tired. Let's let's pray. Oh, the Lord has heard my prayers. Uh fatigue recovery increased. Praise Allah. Um let's see. Let's hang around the campfire. Uh, hang around campfire. All right, let's let's go back and uh, train, and let's train with some swords now. Let's do. Do we ha can we do we have the reputation to train? No, we don't. All right, so low practice it is. You need to rest. Uh, okay, I'm too tired to do that. All right, let's. I don't know. Pray more. You spend time in solitude and prayers. Virtue increased by one. Self-withdrawal regiment. Lose respect. Okay, yeah. 
<clears throat> okay. Hang around campfire. Okay. One of on one of the last days in the camp, not not long before setting off, several of your comrades unexpectedly unexpectedly call you to talk. Re reputation, soldiers, success. Oh, thank God. I, that's amazing that the, the, the soldiers respect me at all. Um, upon hiding with, hiding with you in a secluded place, they share their crazy idea. To rob one of the caravans with food and equipment that flock to the camp daily from all over the area. Despite the seeming insanity of this idea, the whole scheme, according to the soldiers, is simple in execution and completely safe. All the various carts uh, with all sorts of supplies, once they arrive, are being put in a southern uninhabited part of the camp. Really? Apparently, our superiors don't expect that one of their own soldiers would get the idea to climb there as the carts are guarded purely for appearances and getting under there under the cover of night will be a completely trifling matter. Join in, maybe. I don't know, dude. This sounds like they're about to get caught and beaten and executed. I don't know, dude. I, if anything, I want to, like, rat them out and be like, oh, you know. Be like a complete stoolie, a stool pigeon, or, or whatever, whatever. I don't, I don't know. What do they call it in Turkey when you're a stoolie, when you rat people out? You know, um, that's what I want to do. Um, uh, a complete trifling matter, according to your comrades. Of course, it's unclear what exactly you'll be able to snag from there, since no one knows for sure. Oh, damn it! I clicked. And stuffed pockets, blah, blah, blah. All right. Yeah, you know. Oh, God, agree or refuse. Oh, my God. Oh, all right, we're going to agree because there's no really rat them out option. So we'll just agree. You agree. Virtue lowered by five? Damn it. Is It is decided that you'll put the whole scheme off, uh, pull the whole scheme off that very night in order to not miss the chance before the army sets off. But that night, unfortunately for you, is light. The moon is bright and everything is quiet. Which immediately complicates the whole thing. Oh my god, never involve an illegal job doing medieval times. Was why didn't you tell me that? Oh my god, I, th I really feel sick now. I feel like I'm about to get murdered already. Like, this is going to horribly backfire, isn't it? <laughs> the security of the carts is in fact so-so, but there is also nowhere to hide in the tentless and deserted southern part of the camp. Oh no, yeah, right. Nowhere to hide in the... Yeah, okay. You have no choice but to lie, rely on your own agility, speed, and stealth. Oh my god, dang it. But they all let you down. Agility fail. Uh, trying to sneak, uh, sneak up on the wagons, you catch the eye of the guards who immediately sound the alarm. It is only by miracle that you manage to carry your feet out of the southern part of the camp and hide in the maze of tents. The command fails to find the guilty and you are able to avoid the punishment. However, this whole incident still leaves its mark on your relations with the soldiers. Reputation lowered by 10. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, that was awful. That went really poorly. That was bad. Uh, yikes. Yeah, right. Damn, yikes. That was rough. Okay. Um, well, how exhausted am I? Let's train. <laughs> God. Uh, let's trade, uh, can I do my solo practice now? Yeah, I am, and I'm super tired now. Okay, let's go back. Yikes, indeed, Matt. Yeah, good lord. Oh, god, all right. Well, let's, let's pray, because we're an introvert. Let's hang around the campfire, hanging. Let's do some more hanging, hanging around. It's almost story event time, and I have a very, very bad feeling about that. Um, I, I need to rest though. Let's pray, pray to our God. Uh, virtue increased by one. Sure. Okay. Back. Let's, um, I don't know how many time, how much time we have with how much that means, but 
let's train uh, let's train our I don't know let's do agility because old Matt said we should get it to three so we'll do that um oh, dude. all right you know we should probably rest like I feel like that uh, this thing's about to happen let's go to the camp activities and pray and the Lord has heard your prayer oh, yeah praise Allah all right, and hang around campfire and back. I mean, now it's time till story event. I see nothing there, so I'm, I'm going to time to change name and migrate. Yeah, right, exactly. Try buy armor. Do I have? I don't think I can, dude. I don't think I have money. Uh, I think I have like five, five, uh, Tuppence? I don't know. What are they using in England at this time? Friggin' friggin' sesterces or dinars? I don't I don't know. Pounds? I don't know. Um, where am I? Trade? Yeah, see, because I yeah, five gold. Nope. Nope. Let's see, where is that hat that I had my eye on? Oh, they don't even have the helmet anymore. They have leather armor. How much is leather armor? Sixty-five. No, 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 no. Nope. Okay, so um, Camp activity. Can we hang around the campfire? Okay, yeah, all right. So proceed. Uh, okay, Ruffian was right. In precisely one week after you appeared in the camp, the army set out north. The days of waiting and constant nervous excitement were finally over, and for the first time in a very long while, you caught yourself actually being hopeful about the future. Oh, we're so screwed! Yes, the fate did drag you through the mud, and yes, you did end up going to war. But whatever battles and perils lay ahead, you'd rather take your chances surviving them than a hangman's noose, I guess. And if this whole campaign somehow ends up being a success, and then and and you might return back not only alive, but even a wealthy man. And even if you can't come back home, the money surely will help you settle down somewhere else. With these optimistic thoughts running through your head, you marched forward. After two months of grueling travel, the king's army finally made it to the outskirts of York, a northern stronghold of the kingdom. Endurance success! Oh, thank God! My one endurance saved me. You took the march well. Good. Even though the common militiamen like you were not made aware of the battle plans, various rumors and the talks painted a very clear picture of the city of York playing a crucial role in the defense of the northern lands of the kingdom. However, up until this point, there was no precise information about what's going on inside the city, and none could even say for sure it was still loyal to the crown or has already been captured by the Scot or or has already been captured by the Scots. Seeking to avoid unnecessary risk, the command decided to set out a small party of militiamen to the city's suburbs to conduct a field reconnaissance. You happen to be one of those chosen for the task. Oh, God. Tutorial. Prepare for battle. During the prepare for battle phase, you are able to make the last minute preparations before entering combat. Apart from managing your inventory and equipment, this phase also allows you to use various consumable items, camp consumable items like medicine, canteen, water skins, and some others. Okay, I don't have any of that. During battle, canteen and water skin are used to recover your stamina. However, during the prepare for battle phase, they will lower your fatigue level. Stamina will recover automatically. You can use this to gain an advantage during prolonged battles with several combat encounters. Also, don't forget that there that here you can reload your crossbow, swap trinkets, or refill your pouch with new ammunition and consumables. Prepare for battle. Okay, well, uh, let's just hit my character thing. I mean, I, there's really nothing I can do here. Uh, I don't know why I bother. Let's proceed. After observing the area from atop of a nearby hill and not seeing any enemy forces... Your party ent enters the city's suburbs where you immediately run into an unpleasant surprise. There indeed are no Scots around, but the place is overrun with a large group of marauders pillaging and then setting aflame houses on this side of the city walls. 
Seeing the modest size of your party, they immediately attack. Welcome to war! Very soon you will have to shed your first blood. But before you do do this, it would it would be wise to get acquainted with the main principles of Headswell Girls Girls Combat System. I'll lay it on me. Do you want a tutorial? Oh god. Alright, give me a tutorial. What? Heads for girls, you talk, turn-based characters, allies, left to right. Okay, next. This order never change, <clears throat> changes. Uh, skipped only in one case if that character has been stunned. Interesting. Okay, next. Uh, several actions. Okay, yeah, see, so we got actions down here. Sure. Take a closer look exactly what we can do. This button is uh, responsible for attacking. Sure, okay. Um, it says attack, uh, detailed information about stuff. Okay, next. Uh, lunge. Okay, yeah. Um, next. Please note that different weapons have different available attacks. They vary not only between weapon classes, but sometimes within the classes themselves. Oh my god. When selecting a body part to attack, hover Hovering over dice symbols will give you detailed information about potential damage and area addi and addition uh, effects of your strike. Um, okay, interesting. I'm just feel like I'm just gonna ha have to pick it up as I go. Uh, agility, weapon skill, weapon length, and fatigue level. Okay, yeah, next. Uh, okay, the chances to block. Okay, I, I, I'm okay. I'm I skip tutorial. Your turn. Okay. Oh, it wants me to faint. Is that what you want me to do, game? Why are you pointing at that? You want me to faint? It's like Fallout One. Okay. Well, you know, I never did play Fallout One, but hey, I, I've seen videos on it. Well, we're gonna faint, I guess. Faint to the Marauder. Skill faint. <laughs> I successfully skill fainted. Marauder's turn. He's battering my body and he missed. They they don't even move. I thought they would at least move and like swing their weapons in a jank ass sort of way. No. No, it's just like a completely still painting. Why are you still pa pointing at faint? I, why is it pointing at faint still? I want to attack. To attack Marauder. Oh, I can uh, cripple him, slash him, stamina cost 11, stamina cost 15. Oh, yeah, I don't have much stamina, do I? Oh, my. Or weak spot. Uh, oh, my. Um, l let's do a cripple thing. What will what, what'll that do? Oh, to the body? Sure, to the body. Let's cripple to the body. We missed. Okay, why do you keep pointing at faint? What is a faint anyway? Like, oh, oh, like, like you're gonna go in like, oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh shit, I didn't, I didn't get you. Like, is that what a faint is? Like, why would we do that? Well, let's just try to attack him. I don't know why he keeps pointing at that marauder. Let's let's try to try to keep, cripple his body, stamina. Yeah, my stamina is awful. I don't I don't really know what to do about it. Not enough stamina. Oh god. So what do I have to do? Recover? Recover? I'm gonna recover now. Will that will that get my stamina? Okay, I a little bit of stamina. He missed me. This this is great. This is something there's something about this game. Now I'm fighting at the backyard. Yeah, right. Yeah, this this reminds me of a couple young British lads just kinda going out behind their their, their houses to kind of have a go at it, you know? Like yeah. <laughs> the backyard. <laughs> Low, low his stamina. Is this this is his stamina here? He's got less less stamina than I do, I guess. But um, can I attack now? Can I cripple his his body? Cripple body, miss. And he battered. Oh, but I blocked with my shield. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna have to recover because I'm getting very tired. Do I have any items? I don't. Go back. Let's let's recover. Fa flail reduced recovery. Oh, because he flailed me. He missed battering my limbs. What's respite? Can I ris respite? Respite fatigue minus four. It did nothing for my stamina. Okay, so we don't want to respite. 
We want to um, recover. Okay. <laughs> High swing body miss. Okay. I'm glad that he sucks just as much as I do. 70 or up, you need attack. Oh, 70. Uh, oh, my God. Okay. Um, for, like the, for, like, the chance to hit less, miss too much. Yeah, all right, I get you. We'll try to hit 70% or above then. We'll, we'll, we'll shoot for that. Uh, off stance. Offensive stance, I imagine. Let, let's attack here. Do we have enough to attack the Marauder? Can we can we just slash him? Regular slash. Oh, body, 100%. Let's try that. Slash his body. We hit him! We hit him! Uh, okay. Um, uh, I guess I'll have to recover now. <laughs> what is he going to do? He, he's recovering, too. Okay, he's taking a breather. And that's what they say in English. We got to have a breather, you know? Uh, let's see, uh, let's, um, yeah, let's just attack him with a normal slash to the, to the bottom. Why is it less chance to hit now? Okay, well, we still hit him. And he missed battering our body. Um, okay. Uh, we're very tired. Let's recover some more. <laughs> Like, is he just going to give up at some point? Like, we're very out of shape, both of us. It's very sad. Uh, this is a very pathetic battle. We're both just, like, really out of shape and tired. Uh, let's slash him again, please. Uh, his body... Our, our chance to hit keeps going down. Okay. Uh, let's recover again to get some stamina back. Cripple his limbs. Okay, we can try to do that. We can try. If I mean, I'm just, I'm just happy that I'm actually hitting him for a change. Oh, he hit me! God damn it! Um, attack uh, the Marauder. We can try to cripple. Do we have what is it? Fifty? Oh no, damn it! We have to, uh, we have to rest. Let's recover. We still don't have enough. We're gonna have to recover again. Wine used. He has wine. Okay, someone's bleeding. Is it me that's bleeding? Let's recover our stamina. Okay, now I think we can finally attack now this time. Is he going? He's, he, okay. Attack. Let's see Let's see if we can cripple something we have. No, we can't. Nothing, nothing is above 70%, Matt. So, yeah, we're going to have to just slash at his... Nothing is above 70%, so we're going to have to... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess we could try for the body. It's like 68%. Okay, we did hit him. Uh, we're really not doing very well. And he hit us. Okay, I guess because we're getting all... We're, we're both getting very tired now. I don't know. We have to recover more. We, we have no stamina. He has no stamina. Am I bleeding or is he bleeding? I, I really don't know. It just says bleeding. Let me try to pay attention. Okay, he's bleeding, I guess. Okay, he battered my limbs. Yeah, I guess, you know, if he's got a blunt weapon, I guess I wouldn't be bleeding. I have about half health left. I mean, this game is going to be not easy. Let's attack him. Let's see. What can I even hit him with? Can I cripple anything? Oh, you know, we can cripple his... Uh, let's try for the limbs. We hit his limbs, and it's like bleeding or something. Okay, he's got one health left. Like, you want to just give up, dude? Or like, I'll, I'll faint. I'll faint. I don't know what what that does. Not enough stamina. Okay, <laughs> rest then. Let's have a breather. Any for, me, me formation is crumbling. The battle might soon be coming to an end. Really? Okay. And Marauder is killed. Reputation plus one, gold plus five. Really? Oh, and here's another one. Okay, well, I guess we're in a battle. Like, oh, we knocked him down. Here's another one. Oh, nice. Yeah, well, I thought that at first. I thought that I had accomplished something at first. It was. But apparently not. Yeah, OMG, yeah. All right, I, I need to recover. There's no, uh, I have no st stamina. Locked with shield. Thank goodness for that shield, man. That shield has been worth it. 
Um, let's attack, and let's see if we can cripple anything on him. We can't. We can't. There's no. How about just a normal slash? Why, why can't we hit him? Is it because we're getting tired now? Let's um, faint. Oh, you want me to faint? Sure, I'll faint. I'll faint. Skill faint. What did he do? Oh, my God. That drained my stamina for sure. Oh, he hit me. Did he hit me? He hit me. He hit me bad. Am I, I'm bleeding now. I'm bleeding. Look how rusty our sword is. It's super rusty, isn't it? I just now noticed that. Look at that. He's got, like, a nice sword. It's, like, like made out of actual metal. Like, if ours is that rusty, there's no way it can be sharp at all. Like, oh, man. I have a bad feeling about this. Um... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to recover. I don't have any stamina. Okay, I blocked that with the shield. Thank goodness. Let's recover again. I still don't have enough stamina to do anything. Okay, I'm bleeding out slowly. Uh, let's attack. Um, let's try to... Okay, we can't hit him there. Can we just slash him? We, we're not going to be able to hit him. We can try to slash at his body. Wow, 43% chance to hit, though, doesn't seem good. Um, throwing a peasant into the battlefield with a potato peeler. Yeah, right. Oh, man, exactly, dude. God. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling like the next choices I make are going to be among some of my last. I don't really know what to do. I guess I'm going to try to faint again because I can't really hit him or anything. Let's just see what the faint does. It... Marauders fight with ferocity, but slowly they begin to crumble. I am about to die. <laughs> Very soon, all of the poorly armed ones are either killed or forced to flee. And the only ones left fighting are the experienced and well-equipped brigands. You receive a respite and an understanding of the fact that you have made it out alive of your first battle. Possibly grievously wounded, but we made it out alive. Even managing to kill someone. <laughs> OMG, finally. Yeah, right. GG, thank you. Yeah. Good lord. This is rough, dude. Um, a brief pause in the battle gives you a chance to search the bodies of the killed enemies. Or use this time to rest and do away with some of the teak. Oh, man, I want to search their bodies, though. Oh, dude. But there's going to be another battle. This was just like the pre-battle, right? Oh, crap. Uh, come on, give us give us some good loot. Okay, you think I should go for the loot? Then we'll go for the loot. Let's search the bodies. Uh, virtue decreased by three. Well, that's just super. Uh, well, we can have a scabbard or cozy boots. Or, or both. Can we get, get? Let's get that and get that. Okay. Uh, let's put it on now. Let's, can we equip these boots? And can we equip us? What the hell is good of the scabbard? Uh, can be equipped, can be used to equip a secondary weapon. Uh-huh. I see, so it does not matter, but we'll equip it. Okay, back. Proceed. Uh, proceed. I mean, I guess that's all we can do. Meanwhile, the battle, cont battle continues, and those marauders who are still alive don't intend to surrender. Fighting furiously, they manage to one by one kill several, several of your comrades, forcing many of the militiamen to freeze in fear. <laughs> Only several bravest men continue to fight, and they desperately need help. But the corpses of comrades lying on the ground are a quick reminder of what an overconfidence might lead to. I can go help them, or I cannot risk it. Uh, we got us some good Yeezys. <laughs> yeah, well, we got something anyway, and we're going to just have to be happy with whatever we got. Oh, man. Okay, this is this is a tough decision. Um, 
Yeah, you see those weird shoes? I, I wonder. I kind of want to buy those weird, those weird like running shoes things. You know that 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 he made. E, e, Kanye West. Those are the shoes that he made. Those are some insane shoes. Anyway. Um. Oh God. All right. Well, there's no way we can go out there and and are we still injured? I'm gonna assume we're still injured. This is the same battle we're in, right? Like. I didn't take a rest. That was my option to rest. But no, we, we looted instead. So I can either uh, go in and probably die or, um, you know, run away like a coward. <laughs> I don't know. What do you what do you think we should do? What do you think? I don't know. I, I'm I'm conflicted here because I kind of don't want to die. But at the same time. I mean, like, if they die, like, am I, is the game going to continue? They're about to get slaughtered. Yeah, let's run like a chicken. Okay, let's do it. Let's not risk it. Deciding not to risk it, you hand, you hand back, not retreating, but not trying to be a hero either. Virtue lowered by five. <laughs> I support you on that decision. <laughs> All right, yeah, we did it. We're not retreating, dude. We're not running away. We're just not, you know, making eye contact with people. And we're not, like, looking for a fight. We're just hurriedly walking to the back of the fight. Being like, oh. You're like, okay. This decision proves to be a wise one. As the Marauders manage to kill another half a dozen men before they are finally surrounded and dealt with by, I guess, some other of my people, I guess. This tactics, however, definitely doesn't earn you any new friends, as those soldiers who fought in the first line don't really look kindly on you and other risk avoiders. <laughs> Your reputation lower by five. We have an awful reputation. Despite their heavy re uh, resistance, the surviving marauders are gradually encircled and picked off one by one. The last one to fall is their leader, whose death officially signifies the end of your first battle ever. Yay! Chapter 2, Town of York, Northern Lands. York, occupied by the royal troops, pr pr proved to be a rather depressing sight with even, a, e with even a peasant like you, who has barely even seen a big city before, easily guessing that things aren't going that well around here. Um, yeah, all right. Plunging Scots, Marauders, Invasion. Burgomaster of York has decided to hide behind the city walls. Um, begging for help. Okay, yeah, good. Let's, let's get to it. I want to know how badly I'm wounded. Okay, we get paid. We got paid. We got 50 fly florins. We've received an additional payment for my prestige level. One florin. Okay. Um... Live to fight another day. Low reputation. Uh, but hey, we're in one piece. I guess so. That's true. Uh, yeah, our meat is still in one piece, although it has low low reputation. Okay, all right. So basically, yeah, camp physician. Uh, I have light blood loss, right? Um, once fully built up, this effect will considerably increase your fatigue gain and will also amplify the damage dealt by any future instances of bleeding. Okay, can we deal with that? Heal the injury for 25 florins. Oh, crap. I guess, yeah. Okay, are we going to slowly heal? I, I really don't know what my health is. Let's look at our character. Do we? Does it say... Um... Oh, health, 6 out of 37. Okay, yeah, see, that's not great. Let's see. Will we slowly heal as, as time goes by? Let's, um, uh, how fatigued are we? Did it say there? Fatigue, fatigue, anywhere? Did it say fatigue? Uh, fatigue recovery. Um, let us, let us look at the training thing. Uh, oh, God. Um... Oh, I okay. I can't. I I am too tired. All right. So let's camp activities. Let's let's pray. Let us pray. Okay. We lose more. Yet more respect. Oh my God. Let's hang around the campfire. I guess we could gamble. 
We won three Florins. Wow, that... Wow, okay. We'll do it again. We won three Florins again. Let's do it again. We won one Florin. Okay, that's interesting. Let's uh, let's pray. And, uh, beg forgiveness for gambling. Um, you and a few other militiamen go to one of the city's taverns to celebrate your first battle. Ale is poured by the river, you and you, and you're having a great time. When your mugs are empty again, it's your turn to go fill them up. You head toward the tavern owner for another go, but instead of him, you find a young girl at the counter. How may I help you? For a moment, you completely forgot what it was you wanted to... This little arrow hand thing is still in my way, dude. I can't, I can't see what this word is, game, because of this arrow hand thing. But quickly came to your senses. Oh, okay. Four pints of ale for me and my buddies. No problem. Fifteen florins for a pint. The price the girl tells you is three times the price you were served I, I, uh, for a couple hours ago. Oh, no, it's a bug. I guess so. I, I have a little arrow hand thing from now on. What do you mean it's fifteen florins? The innkeeper just charged us uh, five or something a mug. Uh, I would not be surprised if he did. My father has quite a spotty memory recently. He would have gone broke long time ago if not for me. We haven't had a delivery for several days and almost all the ale kegs are empty. So if you fancy a drink, you'll have to shell out. How about a little discount, maybe? A little discount, and for what would that be, I wonder? Please surprise me. For the fact that we are on, on here on behalf of the king and protecting the something and all its inhabitants meeting you from the scots well thanks for that of course but the only shortage in supply problems began just before your arrival um uh, uh, smuggles i mean is this going anywhere lady i really wish this was fully voiced um uh, because blah, 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 froth, soap. Is there really nothing that can be done about it? 15 florins a pint is robbery. Something can be done, but only if you have the guts to do something more than slap the tavern maids on the ass. Uh-huh. Come on, out with it. I know where to find smugglers. They have a secret hideout outside the city. We used to send errand boys for them from time to time, but the roads are unsafe now. So what do you say? Are you ready to take on the task, or do you have... More important things to do. I'll agree to take on this crazy task. I don't even know what I'm doing. Am I going to get alcohol, I guess? Uh, agreed. Voiced games are a treat. They really are. I do appreciate it a lot when people voice things. I hate talking this much and, like, reading their crap. Because most of it's not really necessary. I mean, come on. My name is Skip Dialogue, for God's sake. Uh, she raises her eyebrows. Really? Well, great. My father often says that alcohol has a strong effect on men, but I guess its abstinence has an even stronger one. I uh, skip. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's just the alcohol. Is that so? Well, it seems to me... Oh, come, come, go somewhere. My name is Freya, and something seems... Uh, and if something seems to you, I suggest you... something yourself more often. I heard it helps. Here's the map. This is where the smugglers hide. We paid for, we paid them for, I don't know, two shipments up front, so there shouldn't be any problems with money. Just tell them I sent you. Clear. All right, then. Thanks. Relationship with Freya improved by 10. Didn't expect to, you would agree to help. I thought that royal soldiers can drink themselves in oblivion, tell dirty jokes. Okay. Oh, my God. Hurry! Sounds promising. New quest. All right. Get out of my face. Thank God. All right. Now... Uh, I need to know, so, so what do I do, like, with her? What, what is that, like, to the quest thing? I see, okay. Oh, see, I failed that one. Impress the sergeant by killing two enemies in the first battle. I failed that. I didn't do that. I don't know how I would have done that. Uh, okay, what's this? Collect a shipment of contraband alcohol for the, for the Freya's Tavern. Um... Okay, so what do I just do that then? I'm not going to do that yet because I'm, I feel like I'm very wounded still. Okay, I'm not tired anymore. What is, What is my health at? Like, it's... My health is at 37 now. Okay, I guess I'm, I'm healed of my wounds. Let's do it then. Let's go on that quest thingy. Let's do the courtier thing. Oh. 
Oh, I don't do it from here. Oh, do I hit it? Hit travel here? Okay, smuggler's camp. Yeah, let's go smuggler's camp. Despite having a fairly detailed map, finding the smuggler's hideout turned out not to be an easy task. You search eventually. Your search eventually leads you to a small fortified camp on the river, located in a secluded area west of York. As soon as you as soon as you approach the camp, a crossbow bolt is shot into the ground right at your feet, and literally out of nowhere, several well-armed men appear, politely wondering about what the hell you are doing there. After listening to your story that you are here on behalf of Freya, they take you to the camp, to their to their superior. He, in return, confirms that the agreement between him and Freya has really took place, and he has received the money for two loads of goods. However, he says things have changed, and so has the cost. And now if Freya expects to get something, then she'll have to pay extra 35 florins on top. Um, press the smugglers with authority. Uh, do I have authority? I don't think I have any authority, or I could just pay. I, I, if I have 30 fly florins, that'll be all my, all my money. Um, and I kind of wanted to buy stuff. Tell you, tell, tell that you don't have any money on you. Let's, let's try to, to impress them with our authority. We'll say, respect my authority, and we'll start club them in the knees. Trying to look and speak as confidently as possible, you tell him that changing the terms of an already concluded contract like this is considered dishonorable, even by the standards of bandits. Hmm, Freya sets us for a trap. Yeah, exactly. God. Um... The amount has been uh, has been agreed on and already paid, and therefore they have no right to demand anything. Uh, smugglers, however, are not that impressed by your condemning speech. According to them, you are not in church to preach about honesty and dignity. Prestige fail. Uh, well, I guess I, I could pay for it. Damn, dude, really? Let's pay. You agreed to pay 35 florins lost. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, so now what? How do we How do we talk to freaking... Uh, to, 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 what's her name? Do we socialize here? Is that it? No, I guess it's not that. How do we talk to... Um, question travel. How do I... How do I get to the tavern now? How do I get back to the tavern? the hell <laughs> it's not from here right like all i can do is just look at this um can i camp activities let me hang around for a day will something happen you spend some time hanging yeah no nothing happening no okay um do i actually have this crap in my inventory it doesn't say that i have the shipment in my inventory did I, f did I not do something properly? Uh, I'm confused now. I have nothing in my inventory. Uh, um, uh, I only have so many options here. Is it trade? Do I trade? No. 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 We only have 13 gold now. God. Oh, man. Damn it. This game is kicking my ass. All right. Well, I really have no idea what to do now. Drink, maybe? Uh, is that is that how I... Is that what I do? Let's see. Drink. You don't have any alcohol. Oh, my God. All right. Do I... Ha I don't... I don't know if I can buy some. Let's see. Uh, do I... Uh, what is it? Go back. Let's go to... Um, what? Trade... How much does it cost for a wine bottle? 45! Um, okay, well, that can't do that. Uh, okay, well, we can't drink then, so uh, uh, I guess we're just done here. Let's just camp activities. Let's, how tired are we? we we're not... I guess we'll just have to continue on, and we'll just, we're just gonna, um, oh, I thought it's gonna take us to the tavern. I would think that that would make sense, however, I have, I can't do that, I just can't. 
So I wonder if I've just like backed myself into a corner on that. I kind of am hating this game more and more and it's cruelty to me. Let's see, train. That's really all I can do is continue on with this crap. I haven't even trained my crafting at all. Uh, I'm not going to. That's going to be our dump stat. Coordination six? How did that happen? How did we get our coordination to six? I don't remember that at all. Um, let's, let's train it again because we're so strong on coordination. <laughs> let's give ourselves some uh, endurance, some strength. Uh, vitality. I like HP. All right, now we're really tired now. All right, let's go back. Royal Army stationed under the walls of the Orc resembles a patchwork quilt assembled from many different detachment of countless earls, barons, and dukes. A large part of the contingent is made up of mercenary squads, recruit... Why are you telling me this game? This better be going somewhere. Even knights, blah, blah, blah. All of this blah, 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 conflicts. In a small clearing on the southern outskirts of the camp, two large groups gathered. Mercenaries from the continent and English militiamen. Everyone is already on edge and you need to be clairvoyant to know what the fight is. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is no longer possible to understand what the argument, what was the argument about in the first place. And all you can do is just choose whether to get involved in the conflict at all, and if so, which to side on. Why would I get involved in this? Support the... Oh, because of reputation. I wonder. Militiamen or mercenaries? Wait, I'm a militiaman, right? Am I a militiaman? I'm not a mercenary, right? Am I in a militia or a mercenary? Now I'm confused. Okay, which one are the dudes that are like... That like, well, well or, or, that sit in judgment of me? Which ones do I call my peers? The militiamen? Uh, I, I kind of was going forward thinking that I'm in a militia, but now that I think about it, I don't think I am. Um, I think I'm a mercenary, aren't I? I'm lost, too. Yeah, <laughs> dang it. Damn it, Wass. I count on you to be the smart one here. I don't know what I'm doing, but that doesn't give you an excuse. <laughs> dang it. Let's see. All right, well, I'm going to go with the mercenaries. To the great surprise of some of your Conrads, you join an ensuing fight on the side of the foreigners. God damn it. The decision, however, quickly turns out to be quite far-sighted, as professional warriors, seasoned and experienced, even with their bare hands and without breaking a sweat, knock the air out of yesterday's peasants and artisans. Some of the militiamen who have earlier fought side by side with you on the battlefield, perceive your actions as a betrayal, and after this incident, refuse to associate with you. Virtue reduced by five, reputation reduced by 25. But the choice you've made also gets you a reward. As a gratitude for your help, one of the mercenary gives you his whip so that it would be easier to fight off these scoundrels next time. I got a flagrum. We'll get flagrum. Proceed. All right, god damn it. All right, character. So like, um, uh, inventory. What the hell is this flagrum? Is it basically like my sword equip it? Oh, it's just a little extra thing. Okay, what did it do? Can be used in camp to recover lost virtue pro prolongs by two any bleeding if in inflicted on enemies. Oh, I see. It's just kind of a, a thingy. Okay, a, like a little, um, you know, thing. Okay, boom. God. This game is stressful, dude. All right, all right. Um, we're we're going to try to continue on now. <laughs> How tired am I? Extremely tired. All right, let's go to camp activities. Uh, mortify flesh? What does that mean? You spend some time mortifying flesh and seeking atonement of your sins. Virtue increased by five. You lost some blood. Oh, what am I flagellating myself with that whip? Like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Like, why? Okay, well, now that I know what that means, I'm not doing it. Oh, Dungeon Master! Look at that achievement there with a little gimp mask on. Dungeon Master for whipping myself. Oh, my God, this game. Okay. 
Uh, let's socialize with the sergeant. Oh, hey, Skip, are you still alive? Heard you had a big fight with marauders, and while well, judging by the fact that you're still in one piece and their bodies are resting in the ditch, conclude that your in initiation was successful. Oof, that sounds horrible. <laughs> yeah, dude, come on. Do we really need that with all the other blood loss that we suffered? We all started somewhere, and today you had your first taste of, I don't know, what, combat, maybe? You think that word's combat? So, so well done, lad. Reputation by the Earl increases by five. Have a rest and recover. While you're drying the pants, you pissed. Don't forget about training, because the Scots are blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, all right, let's, let's train then. Let's see. We got, uh, let's train our strength up. Okay, we're very we're very tired now. Let's go back. Let's camp activities. Let's gamble and gamble some more. You lost. I'm losing money. Um, pray, hang around campfire. I mean, they must really hate me. These, these my fellow workers here. Um, let's train now. How about, how about more agility? Yeah. Um, uh, let's do coordination just because we can because it's already so high. I love that. Uh, let's do more strength. Oh, we can't. We're too, we're too exhausted. All right, we're going to do some swords next, but first we're going to rest. Let's hang around campfire, hanging, gambling. Oh, in the evening... For something to entertain yourself with, suddenly a stranger joined your company, a sly-looking mercenary from the detachment of one of the lords. He immediately offers you and your friends an unusual bet. So I guess basically we completely screwed up that thing with Freya. Like, I don't know how to get back in the tavern now, and we'll be soon back on the march. I mean, God. So I basically just paid for that that wine or whatever the hell she wanted. Oh, my God. Anyway, so yeah, we bjorked that completely. With a knife, blah, blah, faster than best, uh, tenfold 50 florins. I don't have 50 florins, but if none of you can keep up with the mercenary, then your fiver would find its home forever in its pocket. Uh, oh, I see. I just have to give him five. Is that it? I'll take a chance. Sure. Uh, worth the candle except the mercenary's challenge. Pulling a dagger from a sleeve, the stranger places his hand on a large stump standing nearby and with great, great speed begins to thrust the blade in empty spaces between his spread fingers. In about a minute his performance, he managed to make something like 200 lightning fast strikes with his dagger, none of which touches his hands. After that, with a grin, he invites you to replicate this trick. Great. With a little grunt, you find a comfortable position by the stump and gradually accelerating, begin to beat out uh, the rhythm with a dagger striking between your fingers. The first 10 seconds, while the speed is still very slow, everything goes more or less well. But as soon as you try to pick up the pace, uh, uh, things almost go south as after one of the strikes, the dagger sticks in its dangerously close to your hand. The mercenary quietly sneers as he is ready to celebrate his victory, but you do not give up and focusing on the pace continue. And a miracle happens! Coordination! Success! What the hell? <laughs> Why? Matching the mercenary in speed, you manage to repeat his trick for a minute and never touch your hand with the blade. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. I'm not going to argue. Nice. Thank you, Woss. Yeah, this is, this is great. The dumbfounded mercenary has no choice but to admit defeat and having parted with a fair amount of money, bashfully walk off into the sunset. I have 50 florins now. Reputation with the soldiers went up for a change. Holy crap. Okay, I'm confused now. Sweet, yeah, gosh. I don't know how to take that. Let's socialize with Ruffin. We haven't talked to him. How's it going? Uh, oh, that's right, buy a chest. Okay, I'm not going to do That's all I can do. All right, let's see. Um, back, let's, let's train, I guess. Oh, yeah, we wanted to train with our sword. I guess we could pay 35 for... To increase our sword fighting skill by one. I That seems like a lot of money. Let's just solo practice. It makes us tired, but, you know, whatever.
You hear rumors that among the reinforcements arriving to York from the south also came the Sheriff of London with a detachment of his people in order to search for criminals avoiding justice in the northern lands. Can we buy a good sword now? Okay, we'll try that. Yeah, good, good idea, Oz. We'll, we'll try that. Um, okay, uh, let's uh, trade... Okay, so what are we talking here? Oh, there's like a for fifty five. There's this this uh, a hood thing, that'd be pretty cool. Um, there's a bandit knife, and uh, no, there's no there's no good sword for sale. Uh, oh, this wooden shield bonus bonus item. Look. Uh-huh, it's 60. I don't know. I already have a shield. It's probably a crap one, but but no, long story short, I can't buy a good sword now, dang it. Um I could buy this thing, I guess. Uh this Av Aventail. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, I don't know. You think I should hold off or should I buy this armor thing, this hat? Head cover 85, neck armor 5, neck cover 50, prestige. I don't know. What do, what do you think, Waz? Should I buy a hat? Should I buy something to put on my head? Or should I, like, just save my money for now? What do you think? Let's close this. What else do we have? Uh, Ventail seems useful. I mean, it does. Uh, I have 59. It costs 55. Hey, all right. If, if you say it'll be useful, we'll buy it. We'll, we'll go to character now. Let's put it on. Can we equip? Boom. Okay, back. Let us... Um... How, how much tired are we? Let's do some gambling. We do have... We won two floor and see how we got... We're doing all right. We lost two florins. Okay. Uh, let's go back and train with our sword. Because I feel like we're really bad with the sword. Uh, we need to rest now more. Let's pray. Let's Let's gamble. Can we can we drink? We 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 oh we should have mm, we should have bought alcohol with that to maybe give that stuff to Freya. Dang it, I forgot all about that. That's okay. Yeah, don't have alcohol. Uh, losing money though, Be losing lots of money. Okay, hang around campfire, pray. I mean, okay, I think I'm good now. Let's train. Let's do some more sword practice, man. And let's maybe do some, I don't know, uh, more endurance? Sure. Back, let's camp activities and pray, and hang around. And can we even gamble? We're losing a lot of money. We don't have any money now. We're completely out of money. Hang around, pray. Yeah, now they hate me more for praying. Okay, hanging around, uh, praying again back uh let's train it is almost the next story event let's train to with uh oh man oh god i don't even know how about how about some more um agility and uh solo practice with a sword okay we're super tired now let's let's rest Camp, hang around, pray, and hang around, and we're super tired. Let's hang around. Yeah, we can't, we don't have any time left. Okay, proceed then. Prepare for battle. Proceed. Thanks to the information about the location of the Scottish forces obtained by the scouts, the English army had enough time to set up a fortified position on the hills near the city. And when the enemy's banners finally appear on the horizon, you're already in battle formation. Scots continue to approach English positions in marching columns, and only when there's about half a league separating you, finally spread into some sort of battle formations. But instead of charging the enemy right away, they take a pause, recovering their strength and perhaps awaiting reinforcements. Originally intending to hold a strictly defensive position, the English command starts to hesitate. In front of them was a weakened enemy, exhausted by a long march and obviously requiring some time to regain its combat capabilities. Seizing this moment to attack made a lot of sense. 
But on the other hand, any kind of attack implied leaving the fortified position behind, which again meant sacrificing a guaranteed advantage. After a brief military council, the command came up with an unexpected compromise. Rather comfortable for the army in general, but promising nothing good for you personally. Some light infantry, including militiamen, was to conduct a probing attack, and depending on its success, the rest of the forces would either follow up or remain in a fortified position. Throwing one last farewell glance at all the holes you've dug and sharp stakes you've placed, you sigh and together with your comrades leave the positions behind. Okay, this is... Oh my. Okay, against two of them. Are these Scots? Um, wow. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's attack this experienced militiaman or a man-at-arms. Let's attack this guy, I guess. Can we cripple? We can't hit him with that. Can we slash at him? We can't hit him with that. Uh, can we faint at him? We'll faint at him. There's a 34% chance to do it. I mean, that's crap. I mean, that's stupid. Uh, I mean, I don't know that that's that good. Let's see. Can, should we just, like, block? We can cower behind shield or drop shield. Or I can have a 22% chance to shield bash him. That's awful. Let's cower behind our shield. Cower behind shield. Allies turn. <laughs> Okay, someone slashed at him. Uh, oh, my ally back here. I see I have I have a buddy too. I didn't even notice him. Um Okay, all right. Uh how about how about fainting? We'll faint at this guy even though we can't we can't do it. Let's be honest. We yeah, we missed. Yeah. Yeah. Crossbow, aim shot. Oh my god, so much happening here. Bleeding, I'm bleeding now. You can examine the enemies by clicking on their portrait, by the way. Uh, thank you, A Astra. Thank you. Um, can you? Can, on, the, on the portrait, eh? Experienced militiamen. Uh, auxiliary troops with some level of training capable of performing certain tasks in the battle. I see. Strength 4. Agility. Ah. Weapon skill 9. Oh, dude. See, no wonder we're doing so poorly. Oh, and he's got like a three-tailed flail type mace. Astra, thank you, dude. Thank you for being helpful. Thank you. Uh, okay. Um, okay, yeah, let's um, try not to die. Let's attack. Can we, can, can we, can we slash at him yet? 69%. Let's go for that. Not enough stamina. Okay, we have to recover. That's right. Okay, we were successfully recovered. Okay, the ally didn't do anything. Okay, they're recovering. Uh, this is very... Stuff's happening. Leg broken? Is that my leg broken? Oh, is that my ally's leg broken? Or is that the baddie's leg broken? Yeah, that's my ally's leg broken. Oh, that's not good. Uh, okay, let's attack the experienced militiaman. Can we slash him? 52% now. Let's try. Let's try. Miss. No. Uh, fail. Yeah. Recovering. Yeah, he's recovering. They're doing all right. I think, yeah. Oh, my. Oof is, in, is indeed right, Was, dude. Oh, my God. Indeed correct. Okay. Um, well, we have to recover. We, we don't have any stamina. Batter neck. Hit. Uh, okay, let's attack. Experienced Militiaman, can we slash at him? 70%! Yes, in fact, can we cripple him at all? Yeah, I mean, theoretically, there's a 60% chance to cripple the limbs. We can, let's, let's do a body thing. We missed. With 70% chance to, we missed. Okay, well, that's bad. Our ally is not doing too well. We're doing poorly. Everyone withdraw. Um, this, this probing attack has failed. <laughs> failed horribly. <laughs> Can we slash at his body? Not enough stamina. Okay, let's recover. 
God. And and that'll give them more turns. Every time I recover, they do, they can do something. Um, yeah, my ally is, he is about to go down. But the coordination is high. Why are we missing? Yeah, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know, Oz. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> yeah, I mean, our, our coordination is through the damn roof. Uh, let's attack. Experienced Militiaman. Can we, I don't know, cripple his limb. Okay, there is 70 72%. Let's try that. Blocked with shield. Only improves the amount of stamina and fatigue recovery. Ah, interesting. Okay, see, you know this stuff. Clearly, you know what's happening here, Astra. Astra Telepathica. That's an awesome name, by the way. Astra, thank you. Thank you for being knowledgeable and wise. Uh, okay. Um, you know what? Let's, let's, let's check our attack things. What do we got? Okay, we can't. Can we, can we, oh yeah, we have to rest anyway. Recover. Um, let us, uh, blocked with shield. Yeah. I hope my weak spot head partially blocked by helmet concussed. Oh my. Oh my. See, good thing on that we got that helmet thing, that aventail. Um, thanks, I made the game! Oh, that's really cool! Yeah, Astra, awesome! Yeah, well, well, good on ya! I mean, it's really pretty cool, so yeah. Astra, awesome. Well, I'm glad you know how it works. <laughs> if anyone knows, it's you. Awesome. Well, good job on making this game, by the way. It's really cool. Definitely, I'm glad when people try something different, you know? And this is different. And, you know, I love it. Alright, let's see here. Um... I'm just, you know, I feel like I'm butchering it. I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm embarrassed. I, I need to come back and be better at it, you know. I'm going to turn down the difficulty next time. <laughs> I, I hope that doesn't offend you because, yeah, I'm getting my butt kicked here. Let's see. I experience. Let's see. Can we slash? Oh, we can't. Let's. Hmm. Can, can we faint at him? Uh, let's see how. how... <sighs> Success. Wow, nice. That that feint actually worked. Our ally is not doing well. Experienced Militiaman, recover success. Man at arms his turn. Recover success. Your turn. All right. Let's 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 see. How do we got... How do we... Oh, we're going to have to recover again. We need more stamina. Sword slash body. Deflected by armor. Interesting. Wow. English soldier is killed. Blocked with shield. Your turn. Okay. It's on us now. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got to, to slash it? Oh, 79%. We're going to do that. Heck yeah. Miss. <laughs> Rip comrade. Yeah, right. Skip that. Skip dialogue. Just have fun. No, and it is fun. It is fun. I am having fun. I'm, I feel like I'm about to go down in a blaze of glory, and I'm still having fun with it, you know? I'm smiling, dude. This, this is fun, but... I don't know. I, I like it. It's, it's what, this isn't, you know, it's souls-like, as they say. This is not forgiving. Let's see. Let's uh, recover. I think that soldier agility is, is really high. Oh, oh really? I, this, this dude's, uh, he's got agility one, this guy. Let's see. How about this other guy? Uh, agility one. They, but they have awesome strength and awesome, like, weapon skill. Like, this guy's weapon skill is nine. And this guy's strength is nice. Oh, man. And he's got lots of, like, armor on. Look at that armor he's got. Wow. That's awesome. Is really... What? Damn. <laughs> yeah, right. But, yeah, he's got sweet gear, though, is the thing. All right. Let, let's, let's continue on. Experience. Let's see. Let's see. Can we slash him? We can. We're going to go for that slash to the body. That's 82%. Let's, let's do it. Blocked with shield. Ah. Oh, see, maybe I should have gone for this guy. He's not have, He doesn't have a shield. Yeah, I missed a lot, it seems. Oh, really? Were you, did you have to leave for a while? That's fine, Minji. That's fine. I mean, you can always watch it again uh, on, the, on the VOD, you know. Darn work. Ah, oh, yeah, darn work getting in the way of entertainment. Dang it, I hate that. 
Um, okay, let's see. We need to recover. Shield broken! I didn't know they could do that! Oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> oh, man. We're doomed. We're doomed. All right, let's look at Slash. Oh, let's let's look at Cripple. I wonder, can we can we cripple his limbs? We're gonna go for it. We to we toast. Yeah. No, we got ninety one. Not not enough stamina. Okay, let's recover. Let's let's recover here. I really want to do that Cripple thing. Uh, if if I make it to my next turns. Um. Yeah, we're gonna cripple his. Oh damn. We, now we have much lower chance. Let's go for his body. Blocked with shield. Okay, it's their turn now. Um, fail. Reduce recovery. Your t oh my god, I can't believe I made it to my next turn. Alright, let's see. Experience. Let's slash at his body. Not enough. Okay, yeah, that's right. We have to recover. God, our stamina is through the, the floorboards, man. Pierce lung. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Skip. Enemies defeated. Marauder. Florence plus one. Rank auxiliary plus zero. Look at that. Florence. Yeah, this is my score at the end here. Difficulty level heads will rot. We're going to turn that, that down next time. Total score 10. <laughs> we are literally punching air. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm hoping that next time uh, you, we're, we're going to turn it down a little bit and we're going to like uh, hopefully no, do better. Because <laughs> we on. Okay, proceed. Okay, but yeah, it does let you know. I guess we can't turn down the thing because yeah, see now we level up this. You don't get to level this up. And yeah, so yeah, character generation point sixty eight. So yeah, this is the way to do it. Then you can't turn it down. This is the way it's meant to be done. As as the dev says, this is the authentic experience. So yeah, yeah, heads will roll indeed. Proceed. Okay, you know, hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. So if we hit new game now, or, uh, yeah, all right, so. Um, so, yeah, and so now we have more points to play with. That's awesome. I like that. Okay, see, that's cool then. So it's like, yeah, it's sort of like, uh, what, roguelite, as they say. Roguelike? Roguelite? I don't know. But, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's definitely worth a play. I enjoyed that. That's a fun game. Yeah, interesting. Interesting indeed, Waz. Yeah, dude. That's cool. I like that. I, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to that and play that some more, because that's fun. I think that's definitely worth another, another run through, uh, for sure. That's a, that's a cool game, especially for the price I paid for it, which you know is nothing. So I would say that you know that's definitely worth it. That's really cool. I enjoy this game. This is fun. I, I am going to come back to this. This is great. Well, anyway, that's that, 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 this is fun. I'm, I'm happy with this. Was thank you so much for joining me. Astra, thank you for joining me. I mean, that that's really cool. That's really cool that you dropped by, Astra. Thank you so much. Thanks for the fun stream. Oh, no. Thank you, Was. Thank you. It's fun because you show up. Astra Telepathica, cheers indeed. And congratulations on the excellent game, Astra Telepathica. Good job. I enjoy it. I think you got a winner here you should have charged for it though you know at least 99 cents next time charge for it you know <laughs> anyway have a great time guys give a great day check out this game it's a great game it's free what do you got to lose guys check it out heads will roll